Well, this is gonna be a load of bull, or bison, I don't know, whatever. Hey, what's up, my peoples? Mgo here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the TFC Toys Thanatos. So here we are, and there he is. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. So right here, you have a very cool piece of artwork of Thanatos. We really love the artwork on these boxes. On this side of the box, you have a very vague image of Thanatos on the other side. You have the same thing. On the top of the box, you just have Hades, Thanatos on the bottom. Warning! Don't eat anything in the box. That would be bad. On the back of the box, you have your obligatory product shots and his three modes. He has combiner form, vehicle form, robot form, toss form. I just spit everywhere when I did that. <laughs> but moving right along, also included with uh, the figure is the obligatory third-party collector's card with that same piece of artwork and on the back you have the tech specs so woo for that so moving right along here we have thanatos the next component of tfc toys hades aka not leo kaiser and this is their not kill bison i love these guys names we got hellbat we got kill bison Please tell me there's a death bunny. It would just fit. It would just work. Death bunny, murder gerbil. Come on, just keep it going. Just, just keep it going. <laughs> anyway. Murder gerbil? What the heck? Anyway. So here is Thanatos, a.k.a. Kill Bison. It is uh, tank mode here, and it uh, looks pretty cool. Getting close here so you can see the details. You get a little bit of red right up front here. You can kind of see the combiner port right there. You do get some molded rivets and some molded details here and there. You do get some paint apps here and there as well. Right there. This little grating right here, picked out in paint, some more molded detail. The turret itself. Um, this plastic is done with that nice metal flake finish that I absolutely love to death. Got some red right there. Got the little satellite dish. View hickey with this little transclearant piece. Right there, and again, some nice molded details. And get a little bit of gold right here. Yeah, get some red on the back. There you go. Underneath, you can pretty much see how this all works out. And uh, there you have that. The turret can rotate, so it can do a full 360. This little satellite can pivot up and down. This is transformation hinge. The cannons here. Can move up, they can pretty much go all the way back if you want. Uh, this piece right here, I know nothing of tanks or anti aircraft vehicles, so I don't know what the heck this thing is supposed to be. Maybe it's like a periscope or something. I don't know what it is, and I'm sure you know a thousand tank enthusiasts will uh, educate me on that. But yeah, this does rotate as well as pivot up and down. But again, I don't, I don't know what it is. And the joint's kind of tight there. Uh, there we go. So there we have that. And for comparison here, goes down. Here he is with Combiner Wars Brawl. So you can see how he scales with a Combiner Wars tank. Right there. And here he is with Leader Megatron. So you can see how he scales there. And he's actually a pretty good size, as you can see. Pretty good sized alt mode. And here he is with his buddy, Hellbat, Minos. I know now it's Minos. Yay, I know how to pronounce it. So there you go. There he is with Minos. Or Hellbat. His name's Hellbat. It's a much cooler name anyway. I'm just going to call him Hellbat. But um, yeah, so there we go. He also does include the breast, uh, not the breast master, apparently it's the breast animal, not breast master. I thought it was breast master. Again, I've never watched Victory, so I don't, I don't know these things. <laughs> and I'm too lazy to do research. But, um, so here is the breast animal right here. You can see it's just a little wedge thing. With, you know, you can't really make much out of it. You do get some nice transclear red plastic here and there. You do get some gold paint apps right here. And underneath you can see a little bull head and the, hind legs and whatnot. Um, you can flip this gun out right here, and of course there's a 
port, that post right there. That'll go into the port right there. And there is your storage for bolt mode, which I like because it makes makes sense there. Just an extra gun on the turrets. So I dig that. So there you have that. And we'll just put him off to the side for now. We'll get more into that in a little bit. But now let's get right down to transformation, shall we? Let's, so as usual, we'll go into combined mode first, and then we'll go into uh, robot mode. So to get him into combined mode, it's a little bit of an ordeal, but we'll try to get through it. You want to take the turret here and just bring it up on a double hinge. There are two posts right there. You're just going to plug it in here for now. This is just to kind of get it out of the way. Rotate it sideways like that, again, just to get it out of the way. So, you're going to take these side panels right here, and you're going to pop these out and bring them out and down. You're not going to tab anything in yet. Again, this is just getting stuff out of the way. Now you're going to split this whole rear section right here, like that. And you're going to take this back section right here and untab it, which tabs in very securely. So you want to take it, and this is on double hinge, just going to take it and fold it up like that. Same thing here, just untab it, fold it up like that. And now you're going to come to the front here, you're going to unpeg this panel right here. And then you want to bring this section up, you want to open this up right here. And there you have part of the combined mode foot. So what you're going to do here is you're going to take this section right here. This is on a double hinge. You're going to take this and these other ways you can see and shift this down to this position right there. You want to make sure that notch is going that way. And you take the foot and bring it up on that ratchet right there. And once you've done that. You can pretty much close all this up. This peg will go into this uh, this bottom port right here. Just make sure you line that up. Close that up. Then bring this down and everything should tab in. But this is kind of one of the things that's a bit of a pain in the butt. It's getting everything tabbed in. You'll see there's a tab that goes into a little notch right there. And this for some reason is just a pain in the butt to kind of get to peg together. And I never can figure out why it's being such a pain in my butt. But I think we got it. There we go. Okay. So once we've done that, you want to take the uh, the robot mode foot here. You're just going to uh, rotate it and bring it up like that. There we go. We got one side done. Second verse, same as the first. Just open that up. Open that up. Right there. You can close this back up now. And then you want to do the same thing, just take this and shift it down on that double hinge there. Boom. Take the section, bring it up on that ratchet. And then close it back up. There is this post here, which is not supposed to be here. Basically what they did was they just took this part and just reproduced it. So this peg is meant to go into that port right there. And there's still the port there because they just replicated the piece and didn't cut the peg off, which is kind of dumb and makes for a bit of a clearance issue, as you can see. And um, I'll probably either take a knife or maybe my toenail clippers. I could probably just clip that off. But really, you don't need this peg right here. This needs to go. So you're going to have to flex the plastic just to kind of get that around. And then you want to try to get everything lined up so it can tab together and there we go well, that's actually the easiest time i've had doing that bless you thanatos bless you bless you and then when i plug everything together it's all going to fall apart on me but i just want to plug the legs back together and pray that everything you just did doesn't come undone because that's one thing that liked to happen a lot with this guy is once i got everything pegged together things would kind of start undoing themselves which is kind of a nuisance. Oh, you want to take the uh, robot mode foot here and rotate it. I'll just bring it up like that. And there we go so far. Hooray! So now you just want to bring the foot up. Oops. Bring it up on that hinge right there. Make sure that's straight. 
like that. And just rotate it outward. Same thing here, just rotate, swing it out. And then you're going to take these little side pieces here, they're on a double hinge, you just want to push them out and up. Like that. Same thing on this side. Push that out and up. Out and up. Some of these joints are a little on the tight side. There we go. And things just came undone. Ha! Ah, I told you! <laughs> and then everything comes undone on me. Because it has to. This is what I'm talking about. See how everything just kind of came un unpegged and untabbed there for some reason? I honestly don't even know why it does that. That's one thing that bugs me. Very much bugs me. There we go. You know? There we go. <laughs> I told you. Did I tell you? I told you! There we go. So there you have that. So now, once you've done that, you can take this panel right here. You don't have to plug it all the way back in. You can kind of leave it sticking out. On the uh, the picture on the box, they leave this part, you know, just shift it out, I guess, so it does, looks like something happened here in the transformation. Um, but this side, you do want to leave down. There's a post right there that'll go into that port right there. Lock that in place. Now you want to come to this side right here. You want to unpeg this side. You want to unpeg this side. Flip this up, and you can take the turret and bring this back down and out of the way. And you want to take this panel here and lift this up right there. And that will allow you to take this side and shift it down right there. And then you can connect all this like it was before. And you'll see there's a little, I don't know if you can see, there's a post in there that went into that port right in there. Just push all that in. Make sure it all stays nice and snug like. You can bring this back down. Right there, leave this flipped back like that. Rotate this back around, plug it back in. You do want to take the satellite dish here, you just want to bring this back, open this up, flip this in, close it back up. And again, you can leave this, you can plug this back in or just leave it out to make it look like something happened here in the transformation. And oops, make sure that's plugged back into the side there, like it's supposed to be. Make sure all that's pegged back in properly on the side there. And I think we're done. Now we're done. Yes, we're done. And there he is in leg mode. Right there. There is his leg mode. And the foot's kind of weird. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing how well this will support the combined mode once it's all put together. Because it's kind of weird. It's cool that it is incorporated into the robot mode. And doesn't really hinder anything. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm definitely looking forward to seeing how stable this guy will be. Because his feet are kind of kind of narrow. And you know, I don't know. I don't know. But uh, he will have rotation. He will have nice ratcheted joints and ratcheted ankle tilts and whatnot, so yeah, we'll see. We got the combiner port right up there. And yeah, that sure is a leg mode. Just straighten everything out a little bit more. But yeah, there you go. Leg mode. Woo! Leg mode. Kind of weird, but yep, there it is. Leg mode. So let's get down to robot mode, shall we? Let's, let's get right down to it. You can leave them with these giant feet if you wanted to, because that would just be kind of funny. But no, you don't want to do that. You want to take these and just collapse all this back in. Collapse all that back in. And rotate them. Bring them back down. Because we'll be struggling with these a little bit <laughs> later on here. So right now, we will just take this panel. Raise this back up. You want to take the combiner port and... Bring this down to the side, either side, doesn't matter which way you bring it down. Untab all this. And now you want to undo this section here, bring this back up. And for tank mode, uh, this tab is plugged in to this outer slot. For robot mode, you want it tabbed into this inner slot right here. So you want to make sure you bring that out just enough that everything 
lines up just right and it should tab in and tab in and there you go so let me raise the camera up a little bit more so I have room to operate and you can actually see what I'm doing so you got that tabbed in right there the arms you just want to untab this section here which can be a little bit of a pain to do come on there we go Onto that section, take this upper section here and just rotate it to the side like that with the shoulder pad. And you want to take this section of the tread right here and rotate it. And you'll see there is a tab right there that will go into this notch right in here and just secure that in place. Then you open up the panel, flip out his hand, close it back up. Now you got an arm done. Second vest, same as the first. This part's always kind of a pain to do here. There we go. Some things are a little too secure. Sometimes are some things are secure enough. But you want to rotate that shoulder section. Rotate that. Make sure that little tab goes into that notch. Open that up. Flip the hand up. Close it back up. There you go. So now with the turret, you want to bring this up and this will plug back in to those two ports right in there. And you want this flap kind of going right there like that. That's how you want all that to sit. And you're going to open up this section right here and pull out this armature that has the head attached. And just bring that forward and this tab right here will go into that little notch right there. And secure his head in place. And close that back up. There you have the upper body all done. So now you can split the legs. You can take this panel and just bring it back up to where it's supposed to be. Take all that back in. And now you want to, like I said, you can leave him with these big feet if you want. Wouldn't really work because it won't hold him up, but it's for comedic effect, you know, for a picture or something. But anyway. <laughs> You want to open up the front panel here, like that. Open up this back panel again. And again, you have to swing this stupid peg that's not supposed to be there around. So you have clearance. And you want to take the leg, the, the, uh, the thigh section here is on a double hinge. So you just want to take that and shift it up, like that. And now you want to take the foot here and just bring it down. Like that, don't bring it down all the way because you need it. You need to uh, feed it through this gap right here. So just take it and push it through, shove it through because there's really not enough clearance here. You really are pretty much just shoving it through. Like that, and of course you have to wiggle this around because there's not enough clearance. And then the unenviable task of trying to get everything lined up. Push that back in. The unenviable task of trying to get everything lined up so you can Peg the leg back together the way it was. And I don't know what, there's always something that's not lining up right. And it bugs me. It bugs me so much. I think we got it. And there you go. So now this will plug into this upper port right there. Close that all up. And I think everything's where it's supposed to be. Yes. And then you can take the foot. Bring it down, rotate it, right there. Now you guys leg done. Second vest, same as the first. Open that up, open that up. Bring the foot down. Shove it through, yeah, shove it on through. Oops, forgot to uh, bring the hip out, bring that hip up, there we go. There you have the room there, you see it just fills in that entire cavity right there. And then you, again, struggle to get things lined up. Oh, that happened very easily. There we go. Bless you, Thanatos! Bless you! Plug that back in. Bring that down, rotate, bring the foot up. And I think we're done. Are we done? Yes, we're done. Woo! There you have Thanatos, a.k.a. Kill Bison. 
in his robot mode. I like his robot mode. And this is a very TFC robot mode. It's a nice kind of blocky, chunky robot. And granted, since he turns into a tank, it makes sense. So there you go. Um, but very nice design. Very, very cool. I really like his robot mode. Getting close here on the head sculpt. See if we can... No, I'm going to have to raise the camera up a little bit. Yeah. There we go. Getting closer on the head sculpt. Nice head sculpt. I dig the helmet. They'll have like... You know, animal-themed helmets. They're like Power Rangers. <laughs> Again, it would have been nice if they had picked out the eyes on the helmet. But, you know, it is what it is. Um, pretty good light piping. You can see, lights up a pretty nice red. And overall, the body design, very, very nice. I like the way they did his abs. How it looks like overlapping plates there. I think that looks really cool. And overall, very cool design. I, I dig it. I dig it very much. Got some more gold paint abs here. Very cool. Of course he has the typical, you know, tank alt mode backpack with the turret just hanging out back there. But there you go. Yeah, I really dig his alt mode. I mean, I do, I do dig his alt mode, but I really dig his robot mode. Um, Articulation-wise, the head is on a ball joint. You get a little bit of side-to-side -side movement uh, due to this hinge right behind his head. He can only rotate his head that far, which, I mean, granted, is far enough. I mean, he can look off to the side if he wants. You do get some upward tilt, very little downward tilt. Uh, the arms can do a full 360. They can go in and out, you know, and despite that big shoulder pad, he can bring his arm out all the way. The shoulder pad is on a double hinge, too, so you can kind of play around with how you want to angle that. Bicep swivel. 90 degrees of elbow bend, wrist swivel, waist swivel. Uh, the hips can go forward, legs can go forward that far, back only about that far because the turret kind of gets in the way there. You have to move around it to get further. Uh, full outward movement, you can do the full splits there. You do get a little bit of a swivel at the top of the hip there. Um, slightly under 90 degrees of knee bend. Right there, and his little feet are on a ball joint, so you can kind of, and they are on a, on that transformation hinge, so you can kind of shift them up. They won't tilt up, but you can kind of shift them. You can point them down. You do get some tilt, even though it really doesn't do much good, because the rest of his foot is just a big block, so the ankle tilt doesn't do too much. So, there you have that. So, of course, you have the breast animal right here, which you can't plug on to his chest. It's just the port right there. You can plug it on. And again, I think that looks kind of dumb. <laughs> and it just keeps reminding me of power core combiners and how that gimmick was very unsuccessful with the whole dude that turns into chest armor. I just I don't like the way that looks at all. But he does have the weapon mode. And to get him into his weapon mode, you just want to flip out of the barrel. You want to bring down the legs here, and that will give you clearance to take these sections here and swing it up. Bring that down, swing it up. Now the instructions don't actually show you how to do this. Bring the leg up, bring the leg up. The way I figured out how to do the, uh, the weapon mode was literally from the artwork on the box, because the instructions say nothing about how to get him into weapon mode, which sucks. Here, bring these panels down, and there he is in his gun mode. And you can plug him into his hand. Whoops. And there you go. That's actually a pretty uh, decent looking gun mode right there. And again, the instructions say nothing about this. Nothing at all. I had to look at the box art to figure out how to get him into gun mode. Because <laughs> it had to be more than just a plank with a gun sticking out of it. And I think that looks a lot better than just a plank with a gun sticking out of it. There you go. Weapon mode. I think it's pretty cool. And then to get him into his animal mode, you have to split this open, flip the tail out, flip the gun barrel back in. When you close that back in, you'll see that'll hold that in place. Bring the legs down. Bring the front legs down. Like that. Flip up the head. And there you have the little bull. A bison, if you will. Which is pretty cool, actually. Get a close here. The camera will focus on him. Fair cash. There you go. 
pretty nice. Got some gold right there. Trans clearance, red horns, as well as I think the eyes are just painted red. And you got the trans clearance, red legs with the painted hoofs, little trans clearance tail. And if he wants to go to the bathroom, he 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 he, he can because he's <clears throat> he's got one. But anyway, there you go. And just for a comparison, here he is with uh, Hellbat's breast animal right there. So, there you have that. Although, for some reason, I prefer calling them breast masters because I think that's just funnier. But <laughs> I know that. They're breast animals. I know now. But <laughs> well, breast master is just funnier. <laughs> so, there he is with his uh, little buddy right there. His little pet. Look, he has a pet. Oh, he's got a little puppy. He's got a little puppy. Puppy, 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 puppy. Now, for comparison. Here he is with Combiner Wars Brawl, which shows how not to do a tank former. <laughs> right there. You can see how he scales there with the Combiner Wars figure. Here he is with Voyager Prime. You can see, yeah, about a head shorter. Then Voyager Prime. Here he is with the Saber to the Stars, right there. So you can see how he scales with that. There he is with uh, Dinoichi. Right there, so you can see. Here he is with Leader Megs. So you can see how he scales there with the boss man, the big Megs. And here he is with his partner, Hellbats. Right there. This is already shaping up to be a really good looking team, in my opinion. I think these two look just, just look really good together. So, there you have that. So, yeah, Kill Bison. I like him. I love his name. Um, cool looking robot mode. Uh, decent alt mode. Um, the only thing that really bugs me about this toy is just the, the leg transformation. The leg transformation can be a bit of a pain in the butt. I think that's something that could have been... I, I mean, I don't know exactly what could have been done to remedy it, but it just... The, the leg transformation could have been a bit smoother in some way. It's, it's just kind of, just some weird tolerances going on in there. And um, I don't know, I, I think the leg transformation could have been handled uh, a little bit better. But overall, I dig him. He looks cool. And I love his name because it's Kill Bison. And he has a little puppy. So if you like a Thanatos or any of TFC's other offerings, you can always check out BigBadToyStore.com for availability. There will be a link in the description down below, so check that out. You can also check out the Hades playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below, so check that out as well. And I think that's it, so don't forget to check out M-Games, check out Lori Plan, follow me on Twitter, all that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So, there is the TFC Toys Thanatos, and this is MGO saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Be geek. Be proud. Boom in your face. Oh, one thing real quick. I totally forgot to mention. Uh, these cannons right here on his back are actually on a double hinge right here. So if you want to take them and, you know, swing them up over his shoulders right there, you can totally do that if you wish. So there you go. Hey, Pom! Ah, Kill Bison, where have you been? We had to make a stop at IHOP. Chocolate chip pancakes, man. You can't beat them. Yes, yes, I've heard they're quite good. So where's your little partner? Oh, he's around somewhere. <laughs> What'd you say, man? <laughs> no, you did not just say that. Tell me he did not just say that. You sound like you got something in your throat, man. Pipe down, boy! Pipe down! That's why you better run! Or to make me lay the flap down on you! What's up with him? I'm still trying to figure that out.